Hey guys, it's Adam from BC Systems. Um, today we're actually going to do a video about uh, how the machine works, uh, do some more in-depth video on kind of the, the inner working parts of the machines. I know I'm getting a lot of videos from you guys and I just kind of want to uh, do a quick breakdown of the operation of the machine, the parts. Um, I actually had to stop by one of the machines today because the modem went out for the internet. So um, uh, the company that we use is called OpConnect. Um, they're they're the machine that actually the modems that, that they uh, give us in order for us to have internet on the machine. So let's go ahead and uh, take that now, okay? Walk me over here. So, so you guys have probably seen this machine before in the earlier videos. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open it up so you guys can see the inner workings and we can kind of replace the modem at the same time, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start the machine. Why don't you come around here? So from looking in the machine, it's, it's basically just a computer. You got the recycler right here. Um, you have the rolled steel that these machines come in, so they're pretty heavy duty. Um, you also have the whole um, the um, receipt printer and everything right here. I want you to take a good look. This machine has been here for a little, uh, probably uh, about two years now, so it, it's collected some dust. I know I probably need to get in here and uh, clean it, but um, we'll go ahead and try to do the best that we can right now, okay? So um, you can turn on the machine right here, right? And then um, the machine will actually make like a little beep. It'll be like beep, beep, something like that, right? And it will uh, it'll, it'll start up the screen. And then at the same time, you'll see the, the uh, screen load up here. And then usually what it will do is it will actually then load up the software and then um, you'll actually connect to the server. So you'll see, um, You'll see it all. You'll, you'll see it all connect, and then it'll, it'll it'll come up to the home screen. Unfortunately, though, the modem's not working, so that's why I came here because we're going to have to replace this. So it's going to be able to connect to the server, so we can get so the machine can actually start working. Okay. So come around with me this way. Oh, the modem's pretty simple. Off Connect sends us um, a modem that that basically runs off Verizon's network, and. Um, and uh, it uses a cell signal in order to give the machine internet, okay? So most, most any ATMs have these. Um, they, a lot of ATMs will either use like Wi-Fi uh, through, you know, um, through, uh, through wherever it's installed or you can, you can use, um, you can use OpConnect. These guys are really good. Uh, they have, I think it's like a um, one or two year leasing plan and it's really cheap. You're looking somewhere around $30 a month um, and you have a secure connection so uh, nothing beats that. It's, it's actually hardwired so if you see that there's there's a little ethernet port here um, that gets hardwired into the machine so you don't have to worry about any type of um, um, connecting it connecting it wirelessly or anything like that okay it's all hardwired plugged in you're not going to have any interruption of service anything like that all right so let's go ahead and locate the old one the old one's right here I'm basically, I'm basically all I'm going to do is swap it out. So I'm going to, I'm going to take all this stuff out, unplug this. Okay, you want to make sure you, you're, you keep track of the wires. All right. And then what we're gonna wanna do is basically just plug in the same ones over. So. Okay. We can, we can add it back on. Okay guys, so, uh, sorry I had a little bit of de uh, technical difficulties, but um, so one thing, one thing that, that, that you guys want to make sure you guys keep an eye on is the actual wiring. I, I guess like I had a little bit of problem because I didn't, I didn't really uh, manage my, uh, my uh, cables that well in here, so I got a little bit confused. But it was pretty simple. Just, just had to swap out all the wires. Um, make sure that, um, 
make sure that it's all working now. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to notice that um, the lights on the modem are, are lighting up. You'll see them right here. And then, and then in a couple minutes, we should actually be, be, be noticing um, the cell signal on here, which should be updating shortly as well. Okay, so you see that Ethernet cable's working. It's all lighting up. And then if everything's working, we should be, we should be able to connect to the server. It's all automatic. So. It looks like it's trying to connect already. See how it says loading? It's trying to connect to the server so I can get connection. But sometimes what we have to do is we actually have to restart the machine. Um, so. Okay, and it looks like now we're getting service. So let's give it another minute or so. In the meantime, let me go over some of the other, uh, some of the other stuff on the machine, okay? Let me get my keys. So right here we have the barcode scanner. Uh, this once again is where you scan all the, all the barcodes, um, all the um, QR codes that you're gonna be scanning the wallet with. Um, this is also the camera right here. So any type of transaction, uh, the camera automatically takes a photo um, of, the, um, of each customer that comes and purchases Bitcoin. This is gonna be the bill acceptor. Um, this is where you actually put the cash in and this is where it also dispenses cash when you do a sell. And then uh, this is the receipt, where the receipts come out of, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and open this up. You guys can see a little bit more in the machine. Okay, so this is basically the, the uh, receipt printer. It's pretty simple. I usually keep a, a backup here just in case, you know, this one runs out. I'll always leave like a roll here. Uh, just in case I have to refill it because sometimes I come in and it, this runs out pretty quickly. So um, it has some speakers right here, but the machine re really actually re uh, really doesn't um, use a lot of uh, audio. It just may make some noise every once in a while. But other than that, it's fine. Okay. And then. So it doesn't look like it's uh, like it's loading. So we're gonna try restarting the machine. Okay. So there's a button here on the back. Let me show you. Walk over here. You can go ahead and press this, and then it's gonna take you. Know, it's gonna go through the whole shutdown process. So the machines actually run off um, a Windows operating system. There's no type of Linux or anything like that operating system. It's all Windows based. Um, I'm not sure on the version of Windows, but um, it all runs off of that. This right here, like I said, is the heavy duty recycler. Um, this is also where the cash box is, okay? Um, so when people buy, in, when, they, when you're buying and selling, this is what's actually recycling the Bitcoin. I mean, the Bitcoin, I'm sorry. This is where it's what's recycling the cash and also uh, depositing it into uh, the cash box when it's all done, okay? Um, I can open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. So I know this video is a little ghetto, but we're doing the best that we can here, folks. All right. So if you notice that there's a, there's a diff different key for pretty much every door. Okay, um, they, they, they give it to us like this to make sure every lock is different. So in case you lose a key, you don't have to worry about people getting into it, okay? So um, this is the recycler. Let's see if we can pull it out. There we go. It's a pretty heavy machine. It probably weighs somewhere around 30 pounds. And uh, this is where the, the uh, bills get through and they, they'll get recycled. So basically, let's say you, you only want to recycle 100s and 20s. You can, you can put a setting in the dashboard where anything like you know, 10s, 5s, and 1s, those will go directly in, into the cash box and uh, those won't actually get recycled back to customers, okay? Um, that's usually easy, easier. You, uh, you, you typically don't want to recycle every type of dollar amount, so you really, really want to stick to just 20s and 100s to be, to be recycled for um, selling Bitcoin, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up now. I'm gonna show you guys the cash box too on the other side. I just restarted the machine back on as well.
Okay. All right. Let's go back around to this side. The, the machine's restarting. Here's where I had a little card holder. But unfortunately, these some little fuckers around here kept taking my card holders and kept, I don't know, doing something with it. I, they, I put about at least four here and they, they get taken. I tried talking to security about it, but I don't know if they're going to arrest someone just for stealing a card holder. I don't know. But um, this machine has a little bit of scratches on it too. Um, I don't know how, when I, when I moved it here, um, when I moved it here, it was perfectly fine. There was no scratches on it, but I don't know. I would come back every couple of weeks, every couple months, and, and the machine just gets scratches on it. I don't know if it's, if it's maintenance coming through here with some sort of pile cleaner or something, scratching the fuck out of it. I don't know. And maybe it's someone kicking it. I have no idea, but it's pretty annoying because this wrap alone that we spent on these machines is at least $500. Oh, well, look, there we go. It's working now. So it seems like a switching out the modem did it well. We're able to get, we're able to connect back to the server so they can, um, they can uh, start doing transactions on this machine again. So it's been down, it's been down here for at least like uh, close to a month now. So I'm happy that I'm getting it back up. We're gonna start getting transactions, especially now that Bitcoin is, uh, well, last week it was peaking around 10,000. Now it's back around nine again, but hopefully uh, we'll, you know, this will uh, push people to start buying and hopefully start selling, okay? So um, I'm gonna open this up in a second. Let me just close up this back. The option that the option that you want to that you want to look for as well is um, you are able to bolt these into the ground. Okay, I know somewhere if, you, if, you're, if you're installing this somewhere outside, um, it does have holes in the bottom. Come here, I'll show you where. Right here on the floor. Where you can in, when you could where you can actually drill into the concrete. Let's say you're putting this at a at an outdoor uh, somewhere outdoor, um, and it's going to be there overnight. You want to make sure that you bolt it into the ground so some some fucking idiots don't come and try to you know rob your machine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but other than that, th th these machines do get pretty dirty on the inside. I ain't gonna lie. Um, and honestly, I didn't come today with anything to wipe anything down. I apologize, but. Um, I'm probably going to come back here in the next week and, and, and see what I could do about, about uh, cleaning it up, okay? Um, this is a cash box right here, so I'll show you what that looks like, right? This is pretty it. This is the cash box. This is where all the, all the millions get stored. And uh, let's see if there's any money in here. I don't think there is, but nope. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you, look. I mean, if, if if you can see, if if you can look at the machine, I mean, look, look, look how much, look how much cash you can fit in here, right? I mean, you could easily fit. I would. I mean, if these were all hundreds, this would be somewhere around 50 grand. I mean, but you're never you're never gonna have 50 grand in the machine unless you're an idiot. But um, I, I I wouldn't uh, suggest that at all. I would just you know. Every time you get a couple thousand, come here, empty it, and so you don't have a lot of cash. That means there's less liability for you, okay? You just want to put it back. So once, once we do a smart empty, so what, what I'll also do is I'll, um, I'll go through a whole, a whole uh, process on buying coin and then also a whole um, transaction for you guys, okay? So you guys can see what it looks like. All right, so Let's say someone wants to go and buy some Bitcoin, right? There's my camera guy. There's me. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and scan your wallet, right? That's what we want to do. So I'm opening up my Coinbase wallet. Oh, Bitcoin's at 10,000. Look at that. It peaked up in the past 24 hours. Well, no, went up like 100 bucks. 
All right, let's see. All right, I got my QR code right here. I'm gonna go, go ahead and scan it. Come on, boom. So what I wanna do is I wanna verify that I have the right wallet address. So I wanna look at my wallet address that I scanned, right? Eight, nine, three, you guys can send Bitcoin here if you want to too. I take accept donations, I'm just playing with you, but. <laughs> But yeah, so um, if, if you if you want to verify it, you can definitely do that. I would just verify the address on here matches matches the wallet that you actually scanned, okay? And then what you do is you're, the, the bill acceptor should be lighting up, see? So now it's ready to take cash, okay? So what we want to do, what we want to do is you want to, you know, you can put in a dollar, let's just do a test transaction just to make sure that, that the machine's running. So we're gonna insert the dollar. Now you should see the screen change. Okay. Uh, it didn't look like it changed. So what this is telling me, what this is telling me that there is an error um, on the certificate somewhere, okay? So what I need to do now, and this is what happens, and that's why I'm happy that you guys are able to see this. This happens sometimes with the machines, they're, 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 once some, sometimes let's say you the machine's down for a while and you go set it up, you might have to now contact your developers so they can get this working correctly because obviously it's not. I inserted my machine, I uh, inserted the money and it's not reflecting on the on the amount. So now what I have to do is I have to contact our developers. Um, I have to have them log into the machine, check check the machine and, and, and correct it so, so that doesn't happen. If this was a customer, this happened to, then they would obviously be contacting us. Our phone number is right here at the top. Also our website, um, they would be contacting us. They'd get me on the phone. They would say, hey, look, I inserted money in the machine. It's not, it's not, it's not giving me uh, my uh, Bitcoin. Then what I would do is I would have to log into the dashboard. We have a dashboard that we're able to uh, log into. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring that up right now. Give me a second. Uh, they would, I would have to log into the dashboard. I'd have to, um, I'd have to look at the transactions make sure that, uh, that, that, that that transaction is valid. Um, if for some reason it's not reflecting on the dashboard, then what I, then I wanna do is check the cash box. I wanna make sure that, um, I wanna make sure that, that, um, that there, you know, if someone put in five bucks, it should show that there's $5 in the cash box. You see what I'm saying? So, um, and then if that's not, if, if the customer's still saying that, hey, look, uh, if, if, you're, if you're unable to verify that that way, that, that usually solves about 90% of the problems is verifying it through the dashboard. If you're still not able to do that, then you're gonna have to do a site visit to the machine. That means you're gonna have to physically go to the machine like I am right here, you're gonna have to open up the machine, you're gonna have to go into the cash box, you're gonna go into the recycler, uh, do a smart empty, and then if the cash shows up at the end of the smart empty, then you know the customer's not lying. And you'll go ahead and either, you can either uh, uh, fulfill the Bitcoin at a later time, um, or you'll have to, you know, give them a refund in cash or something like that. Okay. So let's go to machine one, and then we'll, what we're going to want to do is we're going to have to want to go to our orders. Okay. So if you notice right here, it shows that someone's buying, right? It's, uh, it's closer. Yeah. So um, it shows that that, that uh, someone's buying on the machine right now, but for some reason, it's not reflecting the, the uh, dollar amount that we actually put in. So um, I'm gonna have to contact the software developers, get them on the phone, and then they'll, they usually they usually respond within an hour or so, and they'll be able to get it fixed. Okay. Then, then you're then you're uh, back in business. Okay, so um, these are, you know, this is some of the stuff that happens, man, on, on, on the daily. So um, you just gotta be on top of all your machines. So this is some of the headaches and obviously some of the benefits, you know, of uh, having the machine. And, and um, so let's say you wanna buy 500 through 1,000, right? Um, if, you're, if, you're gonna be, if you're gonna be buying anything over 500, uh, it's going to be asking for additional verification. So it's, this is asking for a text verification. So let's put in my phone number. You have to <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to put in, uh, put in my uh, phone number. You have to
So it's gonna send me a text right now. Boom, right here. So two, eight, three. So four, six, six, eight, four, eight. Continue. So boom. So once, basically, this is a, this is a phone verification. Um, that's just us, you know, having the, having a good level of compliance, and um, you'll be able to uh, to continue your buy after you verify your whole phone and everything. Okay. The second level of verification is a thousand plus. It's going to ask for it's going to use it's going to ask for your phone plus a plus um, plus your your, your uh, ID. Uh, so those are some of the compliance. Well, the ID you're gonna scan it using the camera right here. It's just gonna say, hey, scan your ID, hold it up to the camera. It's gonna do that, and, and it'll take a picture of the actual ID. So um, those are the different verification methods that we have. Um, and obviously, too, when you have, when you have, um, let's say I, 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 uh, I want to sell my Bitcoin, I would go ahead and click on sell Bitcoin. But since there's no money in the cash box. And on my settings, I don't have it to recycle $1 bill, only 20s and 100s. Um, it's not allowing me to, it's saying that it's saying that there's no money in here to sell. Um, so yeah, there's, there's different languages right here. They could change whatever. There's English, uh, a couple other ones, I don't know. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Kind of hope this answers some of your questions as far as the inner workings of the machine. Like I said, this machine's been in operation for two years. Uh, hasn't given me any major problems. Um, and uh, it's been doing good. It's made me a lot of money. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, and uh, contact the developer shortly and have them uh, fix it so it can get back working, okay? But obviously this right here too. Why don't you come over here, Mike? I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is basically the active Bitcoin price right now. So this is actually logged in. Um, and this is letting them know what our fees are. Um, and what they're buying it at. So this isn't actually what the Bitcoin is priced at. This is this is the Bitcoin plus our fee that we're charging. So this is the price that they're buying at. So we get a lot of customers that ask that question too. Well, what does that price mean at the top? Well, that's this is the live active price plus our you know 15% that we add to the to our um, to our fees. Okay. So other than that, I think that's pretty much it. But um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. I'm also updating the website right now. I, I got approved from our distributor to be able to sell machines now. So I've been getting a lot of inquiries from that guys and I'm, I'm trying to do my best to, uh, to you know, help people lead them, in the, lead them in the right direction. So I am currently working on those updates for the site to, uh, so you guys can be able to purchase the, the machines back to our website. So um, they're gonna be really affordable. You know, I'm gonna see what I can do to help you guys. All right. But anyways, talk to you guys later. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys subs uh, uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll be in touch soon. All right, guys. Peace.